Hey guys, how's it going everybody? My name is What's Wrong Our Ladies and Gents. Welcome on back to a brand new Fortnite update. And of course, like always, today we're going to be discussing some lovely, lovely stuff that is going to be coming along to the Fortnite realm. And we'll be discussing some new weapons plus some of the other patch notes for patch number 3.3. Of course, I made a separate video discussing the limited edition mode that will be Blitz. So check that out if you haven't yet. But of course, like always, don't forget, guys, before we get rocking and rolling, please hit that like button if you guys enjoyed today's video and consider subscribing to make sure that you stay up to date with any and all future updates. So with that all in mind, ladies and gents, let's go on ahead and discuss some of the big Battle Royale news. Now, again, the reason why I'm saying Battle Royale is because, of course, if you don't know, Fortnite does actually, in theory, consist of two different game modes, which is Save the World and Battle Royale. Now, Battle Royale is the one that almost everyone plays. That's kind of the majority majority that uh, Fortnite is known for but I will make some updates as well for save the world so be on the lookout for that as well either way for now we will talk about battle royale so again I did mention that there will be a brand new time mode or limited time mode uh, which will be blitz so check out the video for that I'll have a link of that in the description but outside of that there are a lot of other things to discuss so first and foremost of course if you don't know a brand new weapon has been added into the game which is known as the remote explosives which had a pretty ridiculous uh, trailer so check that out So there you have it, man. I absolutely love, love, love that trailer. So well done, simple, effective, and straight to the point. Really, really good job there by Epic Games. Now, from there, let's actually discuss some more details about this weapon. So of course, if you don't know, it's essentially a throw down remote explosive. So you throw it down and then you tap another activation button, which on the controller, I think was the L2 button to go on ahead and pop the thing. So you can set up a bunch of traps that way, like they did in the trailer where, hey, you put one next to a chest, somebody runs up towards it, boom, shakalaka. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite as you get yourself a nice little kill. Plus, of course, all the drops that come from that particular victory. Now, as far as the explosive themselves, they will be consistently known as a rare rarity, which means that they are not exceptionally difficult to find. They're not like legendary or anything like that. So they should be popping up a lot more often than things like the scar, for example, or the silence pistol and so on and so forth so that's definitely quite cool but as far as where you might be able to find this particular new weapon well it will actually be found in all of the traditional methods that we have come to be used to to find loot so you will be able to find them inside of treasure chests as floor loot or supply drops and in addition to that, you'll be able to find them inside of Supply Llamas, which we'll discuss in just a moment, because I know what you're saying, like, what? Supply Llamas? What the heck is that? I don't know what that is. Well, that's a new addition to the game, so we'll discuss that in just a second. Now, in addition to that, I did want to go on ahead and mention, I don't know how this rumor started, but a few of my friends were saying that the only way to find this item is inside of Treasure Chests. That is not true, and that has been confirmed by Epic themselves. You will be able to find it as regular floor loot, supply drops, or inside of the supply llamas as well which again we'll touch on that in just a second now uh, how do they actually get collected well you collect them like any other item but they come along as a stack of four now again keep in mind if let's say you fought somebody and they had used a few of them you might collect however many they had left over but typically if you get it just as a pure initial drop it'll be a stack of four and they will stack to a maximum of 10 so you can carry 10 at a time in one slot and Obviously, you can carry 20 or however many you would like. If that's like a challenge you're doing, like, hey, I'm doing the remote explosive challenge or something like that, then which would be a pretty hilarious looking or sounding uh, video. So maybe somebody will try that. But either way, definitely cool to see that addition. Now, since we're talking about explosives and we're still in that vicinity, let's also go on ahead and mention that the smoke grenade has been vaulted now. So it has a vault uh, arc to it. So I think that that's definitely quite cool to see as well. I don't ever use the smoke grenade, but I know many people like that tool just for cover, running around, or as you're making like your move push towards an opponent, you smoke grenade so they can't see where you are and so on and so forth. So for those people, I'm sure that this will add some more practicality to their 
fair play. But now let's go on ahead and transition to the Supply Llamas, the most ridiculously looking, uh, or ridiculous looking uh, item in the game, or I guess thing in the game. They're basically Pinata Llamas, which um, is not a sentence I thought I'd ever be saying, uh, or a combination of words that I'd ever thought I'd be saying, but they look awesome. So essentially, the Supply Llamas allow you to find loot in the most unexpected unexpected of places as the Supply Llama has joined the game. So it's just going to be another method by which, just like there's supply drops or there are treasure chests or there's floor loot, now there's going to be a fourth method by which you will be able to gain loot from the world itself, and that is Supply Llamas. So I think that that's definitely a cool idea. I don't think that they've confirmed whether or not the Supply Llamas will have higher rarity items versus, let's say, the Supply Drops or the Treasure Chest, but I would assume that would be the case just because since they're not going to be quite as common as the treasure chest and so on and so forth because like for example i've not been running into them left right and center so because of that i'm assuming that we will be getting maybe a little bit better stuff inside these supply llamas than we would from let's say just floor loot or something along those lines so i guess time will tell specifically how that will actually work out now from there let's discuss some of the other bug fixes and some of the other things that are going to be added to the game so they did go on ahead and update the circular bullet impact effect so that they can help uh, indicate the direction the shot came from which i think is super practical because that is something that i've run into several times and was annoyed by several times so i'm actually really really happy that they went ahead and got that fixed so that is definitely quite cool some other bug fixes include the fact that they fixed the news window not displaying once you select battle royale so that's cool so if there are any specific news that they're like hey find out about this it will be a lot more in your face so i think that that's definitely good because it keeps you in the loop on anything new coming up for the game and maybe it'd be nice if they had like a toggle option where you can turn that off if you're like hey i don't care about the news just don't pop it up for me at all so it might be something uh that you could do as well uh then they also did go on ahead and fix a bug that sometimes made characters appear with the wrong orientation when previewing items in the front end menu so that is definitely quite uh, uh serious i guess problem that i personally did not run into but i'm guessing most people are annoyed by like if you bought a skin or something like that and it's not showing properly and whatever it might be so you might be upset uh about you know like hey did i just get duped or something like that then of course on the audio side of things this is something that i know a lot of people were very very happy about uh they fixed the gunshot sound uh, stuttering that would occur when firing an automatic weapon at low ammo counts so i think that that was something that many people were like using as like almost intricate detail like oh my gosh he's low on ammo based on the sound so it's kind of an interesting tidbit like the super hardcore players were really into so we'll see um whether or not people like that or dislike that particular change they also did fix the issue that caused gunfire and other sounds to play at louder volume than usual so that's definitely great they optimized the shield effects on players to improve overall frame rate which again anytime you can improve frame rate and get that to be smooth like butter for everybody else i think that that is always a good thing uh they have gone ahead and renamed with this patch the no scope hunting rifle to just the hunting rifle because that's kind of a head scratcher for me too because whenever i picked up the no scope hunting rifle when i just got into the game i was like wait is there a version of this thing that has a scope because otherwise why is it titled no scope so i'm glad that they just went ahead and took that off and said hey this is just a hunting rifle there you go or maybe they had the idea of making a scoped version at some point and now they're just like let's just abandon that idea altogether and just stick to one version of this particular weapon so I think that that's a fair call there. And of course, last but certainly not least, they fixed the missing environmental impact effects on the hunting rifle projectiles, which is a pretty important factor to go on ahead and not miss. So I'm glad that they are going to go on ahead and fix that issue as well. So with all of that rounded up, that is your Fortnite news update for today. Of course, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what was your favorite part for me. I got to say supply llamas are hilarious and the brand new weapon, of course, is pretty awesome because it adds even more versatility to an already exciting game as it is. As it is. Sorry. So I'm very, very, very excited to go on ahead and check that out. Web or check that weapon out even more so than I have before. So looking forward to that. Of course, like always, guys, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Hit that like button. That really is the best way to show support. And of course, I will hopefully catch you guys here next time. Peace out. See you later, alligators. Bye-bye, everyone.